Hey, Faithy. Nice of you to drop by. With a little bit of persuasion, Ropeburn was pretty chatty. Told me about his meeting with Pope's killer at the mall. And you're thanking me, right? <laughs> but when I got there, guess who was waiting for me? No idea, Faithy. I just go there for the pretzels. Bad case of the blues. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? No, Faithy! It wasn't me! <clears throat> Besides, if I wanted you dead, don't you think I would have just killed you myself? You're right. A creep like you couldn't have organized- Now, don't be like that. Ropeburn's dead. I'm impressed. Wasn't me. You need to be careful who you hang around with. Oh, I learned that a long time ago. And yet, here we are again. But I'm afraid I'm gonna have to cut this little meeting short, Faithy. Places to be, you know how it is. Try not to get yourself killed. Merc, Merc, you can stop pretending not to listen now. <laughs> What's up? Can you do a search on Perandella Kruger security? On it. Why do you ask? Been seeing their name around. In Ropeburn's office and somewhere else. Distinctive logo. Getting anything? Mm, just what you'd expect. Alarms, fencing, armored cars, private security. Oh, and they secure our world, apparently. Where are they based? A few offices around town. Just got a new place down near the docks. Get me some coordinates. I'm gonna go check it out. Head toward the building with the big stupid dog symbol. Loading bay should be a way in. So it looks like we're not going to wait around anymore and we're going to head right into the enemy base. Seems like we're just asking for trouble at this point. And although it may seem like you want to go for those zip lines, there's actually a bag hiding all the way down here and even all the way over on the top of this building. Now, I certainly hope that's paint and not, you know, blood. And as it stands right now, the game, for the most part, does get a lot harder as we go on, especially if you're trying not to use a gun. This level and two others in particular are very nasty, as there are some parts where it's, it's pretty easy to die. And we'll actually see a case of that later on. Well, that didn't sound good. So this section is particularly nasty, is there are like three or four snipers in this tiny area and you need to move or use the sniper rifle to actually take them out. Or you're gonna be in some deep shit. As it only takes one or two really good hits from the sniper rifle to effectively end your run. Mark 
so sort of throughout this level and uh, the next couple of sections in particular there's a lot of gunfights that I have to avoid so there are some Easter eggs that I'll miss the first couple times and I'll also be killed only this once but still kind of annoying and even the announcement where they called Mark Schoner to the supervisor's office is itself an Easter egg So rather than deal with that enemy and the two other that spawn immediately, I'm just going to run right through here. But on a different playthrough where I take them all out first, we can actually see what I missed. Hi, this is Mr. Johansson from Pleasant Pest Removal confirming our appointment at 11. You got some mighty big rats by the sound. See you then. And there have been rats all throughout this game, so that's not surprising. The only other two things in here are magazines with a shirtless man and a fish. And running through this little hallway, we actually missed a ton of Easter eggs. Seems that Mark might be in some trouble. And also, as we pass down here, it seems that the man sitting here, Milton, seems to be the brother of the janitor that we saw on the subway. And it seems that the janitor's little hand-drawn diploma was actually trying to mimic the one that his brother got. Although, very crudely. And one final thing over here is this still-hot coffee mug that just so happens to have Dice's name on it. Very easy to miss when you're trying to dodge gunfire. Now we can't get through here just yet, but opening up that door will kind of save us some time later. And it seems like someone's taking a lot of security camera photos and just circling the same person over and over. Okay, it looks like I'm just hitting stuff randomly, but eventually I'll get these jumps. I think he's gonna let him know now as uh well, he's dead and we're not. Unauthorized power activation in factory area. Units two and eight, secure location A2. You must be getting close to BK Central now. They must have security protocol for pretty much every situation. Should be somewhere below you.
And in here on this computer, we have a really long note. If you want to, you can pause it so you can read the whole thing. But it's written by Mark, who got in trouble, probably for this very note, and uh, had to go visit the supervisor. And in this hallway coming up, I ran right by it while I was recording the first time, but it looks like Pirandello Kruger has a couple of uh, interrogation rooms. And if I had to take a guess, I'd say that right there is Mark, and he's not doing too well. Some kind of training room. Drake. What are they training them for? You mean there's something left in the city they haven't managed to tax, ban, or regulate? What the hell's left, huh? Us. Merc, get your gun. You know, that's never too far away. Why? This this training, Merc. This Project Icarus, Pirandello Kruger, they're not here to bolster the police. They're being trained to come after us. After the runners. All the runners. Everything okay up there? Quite as grave. Just me, birds, and the best black market surveillance equipment money can buy. It's him. Him? The guy I saw at the mall. I've seen him on a camera, on the deck of the boat at the dock. Walk of faith. You've done enough. Right now, it seems you're sitting in the lion's den. So please, all ass out of there. Chatter's gone berserk. Blues know you're there. Get out now. So it seems that this uh, security company has been training its people to come specifically after us, and that is what this giant playground, I guess, is supposed to be. It's also kind of nerve-wracking because you're constantly being chased by people that aren't regular cops so they can easily follow you. So you kind of need to learn the layout before you get really comfortable with this area. And as you can see, there's like a good four or five people right on my tail. And there's really no time to turn around as they will catch up incredibly quickly. And even after we escape this area, we're not done yet. For this part, there's no real time to fight anybody. You need to run as fast as you can because those trains aren't really gonna wait.